Hi everyone, welcome to my Miss Coding YouTube channel. So I've been asked a lot recently uh, what I do for a job and what I do for a job is I'm actually a solution architect and I predominantly am focused on .NET. I've also got a little bit of experience in DevOps and I am a mobile developer by passion. So I spend a lot of my free time working on mobile projects and more recently mobile videos to help you guys out. So yeah, um, I often get asked also what sort of ways I would recommend people approach learning new tech. And I've learned a lot of tech on my own over the years. I'm self-taught with the um, mobile development side of things and also a lot of the DevOps skills I've picked up along the way. And I think that um, as you become like more experienced as a developer, it's easier to pick up new tech. But one of the key things I do when I'm starting is reading the documentation of the particular tech I'm trying to pick up and following along and then choosing a project that I want to create. Uh, so I choose a project because I'm a bit more of a practical learner. I'm not someone who learns by reading things. Um, so once I've picked a project, I'll know a few different things I need to be able to do for that project. And I'll pr typically keep it pretty simple to start with. So I might make like a note-taking app or I might make a to-do list app. Something very standard and probably a bit boring, but a good way to get exposed to the tech. And then if there's anything particular that I want in terms of UI experience, I'll just look that up on YouTube and Google. And I like to find videos I can follow along with and learn from them and then sort of make any adjustments that I think would be useful to my product and project. So that's most of the ways of how I learn new things. They also have found that jumping on Stack Overflow is usually quite helpful if you're having any issues. And even spending some time looking at some of the questions and trying to help answer other people's questions can be helpful because you actually learn quite a lot from helping others and sort of reading code. Um, if there is something that I want to do but I can't find any tutorials on it, I'll do quite a lot of Googling. Googling is a superpower for a developer. If you are able to Google and find what you're looking for, you're going to be able to accomplish pretty much anything. So yeah, I spend a lot of time on Google and also in Git, just um, I go on GitHub and look for any similar code that might do something similar to what I want to do. And I can just sort of adapt it from there to suit my needs. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this intro video and check out my content below.